Raul, we've never met before, but you tell me that you did work in Dallas at one time. At the Yes, at the... Uh, years ago I did a musical at the Dallas State Fair Music Hall called Bye Bye Birdie. And I played Conrad Birdie. And Roger Smith play, uh, played Albert. And... Um, uh, I forgot the name uh, who played the girl uh, in Bye Bye Birdie. What's the name of the girl, uh, the character? Uh, well, anyway, I it, it was at the Dallas State Fair Music Hall. And you did what people would say the Elvis Presley type role. Yeah, the Elvis Presley uh, type of role, yeah. And did you kind of pattern it after Elvis? Yeah. And, and Very much so. You You had fun with it? A lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you all. And I'm trying to see to, you in that role and I'm I'm it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's uh <laughs> I did it. <laughs> That's great. Well, you hadn't been in this country very long then at that time, had you? No, I had just arrived here. Uh, 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 I I had been here a, a year. And when I got that part and when you came to this country, is it true that you did not speak very much English? I spoke English, yeah. I spoke English. Uh, I don't know, that's been going around, but I, I spoke English. I learned it in elementary school. I went to a private school with American nuns, so I learned English very early in my childhood. This was in San Juan, or...? Uh... Uh, this was in San Juan, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, back in Puerto Rico, how would you pronounce your name? Raul Julia. It's not the H sound, it's not Julia. Well, Julia <clears throat> would be in Spanish. Julia is in Catalan. And my family has always pronounced it like they pronounced it in, in Catalan. So, so Say it one more time. Julia. Julia. Okay. But in this country, you just go along with it. This Ra country, everybody calls me, most people say, Raul Julia. And you answer. And I answer to it because I'm not going to be correcting everybody that calls me <laughs> by my name. Sometimes I think Julia is uh, 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 the first name and Raul is this last name. So sometimes they look in hotel registers and say, Julia Raul? Are you Julia Raul? You got a woman's name, you know? You say, no, it's Raul Julia, you know, but uh, I, it's all right. I mean, it's, what can you say? It's getting better, though, because, of course, your fame is, is getting more yeah. widely known all the time. Yeah. Yes. Um, in this movie, you, uh, you have yet a different kind of role. And um, I'm wondering if you just, you know, jumped at the chance to take this role or if you thought, ah, I don't know, if you were on the fence about it. I was on the fence about it a little bit, but then uh, um, uh, uh, I considered that Sidney Lumet was the director and Jane Fonda was the actress and Jeff Bridges was the other actor. And uh, I said, I want to work with those people. And uh, I said, I decided to do it. It's a good role, and you do it very well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, we're not giving anything away, but uh, I think they'll be surprised. No. I think they'll be surprised at the end. That's all I'm going to say? Okay. <laughs> well, Christmas is approaching, and I wanted to ask you, just play this game with me just for a moment. If you could have anything in the world, and money were no object, but it's got to be something tangible, if you could have anything, money, no object, what would you most like to have? Uh, you mean uh, like tangible, like a thing, mm -hmm. not an occurrence, not a, an occurrence, or or something that would happen in the world, or something. Well, a, a, a thing. Let's say a gift that that a, some, a thing, a an thing, object, a not thing. a happening or uh, mm -hmm. people's uh, well-being or something like yes, that. Yes, because or, we all want that. We all we? want that something, an, an object. Mm -hmm. I would uh, like um, I don't know I have 
I have uh, um, an art treasure, maybe. Oh yes, that's a good idea. I I I yeah. I, um, um, let's see. Now I'm thinking about the artists. I would like. A beautiful, I would like the Rembrandt of the, uh, of the museum, that is in the museum, of the, uh, the with the, the, sol the, the one, the, the cavalier or the soldier with the helmet, the golden helmet, and it's all very dark and, and with uh, black and sort of like go a little gold. I would like that. I would like a, a Rubens. Beautiful Rubens painting. He, I love the way he painted the women and and his colors. And uh, then I would donate it to a museum. I would just like it for about a month or so to just look at them when I, you know, put them in front of me in the in the bedroom. And then I would good night, okay. And then I would give it back to the museum. So maybe the museum would lend it to me for a month. All right. Let's get the word out. Meanwhile, we'll get the word out about the morning after, that you are one of the three stars, and that it's a real fine suspense thriller. Thank you. Thank you, Raul. Come back to Dallas and see us. Thank you. I will. Conrad Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> In Puerto Rico, how do you pronounce your name? It's not the H sound, Julia. When this role came up, did you just jump at the chance to do it, or were you on the fence for a little bit? What is the role that you did in Dallas? That's like the Elvis Presley role, right? Raul, if you could have anything in the world for Christmas and money were no object, what would you most like to have? Maybe an art treasure? And now I'll just give you reactions. Okay, thank you.